Ladies, gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, I did a petition. I said, hey, here is the quiet title petition. I told somebody, I said, hey, take this, file it in court. Don't worry about it. They were getting ready to foreclose on this property this month. They're still, they're still saying they're planning on it, but we got something to take care of them. So he filed the quiet title document, like I suggested. Ladies and gentlemen, the court, the case was already closed. He already lost that case. They said, no, you, you, you ain't going to appeal. You, you can't appeal this because he went to small claims, went after the bond, and they played games. You ain't appealing this. <sighs> so I gave him something, gave it to the clerk of the court, and they ignored him again. So I said, okay, give him this. And I gave him that document. Well, a document, the first version of the document, that one that you guys got for quiet title was much better. And he didn't even fill in everything. He didn't even put his name in all the places he was supposed to put his name. It still says plaintiff signature and everything on it. Well, they scheduled a hearing. At first, I told him, I said, all right, they dismissed it, said it was already dismissed and they can't reopen the case and all that. Nope. They scheduled a hearing. You know why? Because he brought up the fact that the promissory note, if it contains an order, is a draft. I told all of you, you need to start saying that. Stop calling it a promissory note. It's not a promissory note. If it contains an order to pay, it's a draft. Okay? Go read the statute. Uniform Commercial Code 9-102, subsection 65. It says if it's an order, it's not a promissory note. Look up instrument number 47 and then go to Article 3, section 104E. It's a draft. Got to go. Two minutes.